inspired by other artists but the best person that has inspired me is God because in everything that I do I don't want to lie to you comes from the restrictions yeah so this is me um, <laughs> probably you have seen my art as um, skeptic world hashtag skeptic world or the circle or anything but um, my name is Takuzo Mkesi I'm an artist Zimbabwean artist based in Namibia so I do different type of art you probably have seen these portraits that I've done or um, these big ones that I've done as well but um, just to get you, give you a background story on how I am inspired or how my art is, comes forth or how, what is it inspired by. Like the first one I showed you is basically based on me. And um, if you can see me clearly, I have these um, beautiful annotations of art that I call art on my face, which also depicts what I am and who I am. Uh, so from that, the curiosity that those marks raise or the interpretation that anyone might have of those marks is basically how I approach my art. Someone can give me a picture of themselves or I can look for a muse or whatever. That also inspires me to be able to scar it. That's how I would like to call it. <laughs> scar it where a scar is something that is not really acceptable in us in a certain instance or like in a face or in a body because it depicts pain ugliness or whatever it might be but for me it helped me express what i would kind of call an opportunity for people that curiosity that people have when they looked at me and like what happened to him or whatever that might be or he he looks like this that point of them explaining or trying to come up with a story is what i'm looking for so you trying to come up with a story is what usually i would like to um bring up just i so also do customs like you do on my hoodie it's also the, all these stories that of things or how i feel within the within a sp like within a space or a given time that's as well as I'm doing. God has helped me within through all this because all these marks on my face, it was because of an accident that I had when I was young, but it was hard to live with them for young. I couldn't look in the mirror or whatever. So my mirror, my canvas became my mirror at, um, at the age of 11, was it 11 or 12 or 15 or whatever. But I started doing, like you can see, this is where I started, like, not really, I did not know if you could see. But this is when I moved away from drawing people exactly, trying to draw people exactly as they are. And actually trying to put a certain interpretation that I also had. So through all that, you might think and or, like, want to know where God comes in on all this whole situation. God is the background because me being able to, it's just like the one in the Bible about Paul where he looked at his as you were talking about the thorn and everything it was looking at the beauty in a whole bad situation so i couldn't live with myself for a very long time all these bad situations and all these artworks came about in all bad situations so me being scarred um being alone being in solitude being um not feeling good um and being able to find jesus and him being able to direct me and guide me to be able to find my art and being able to direct a message that people don't even understand why I do my art like this or how it is the way it is um, was beautiful. I was able to learn to learn to live with myself through art but I was actually also communicating um, a message that I was speaking to myself uh, um, a word of preaching that I was preaching to myself every single day or every single time I, I draw trying to scar something but God didn't say I scarred you but I marked you as um, a mark for greatness look every time I look myself in the mirror now it's a source of inspiration because I am grounded in what God did in my life um, the scars yes my my mom died and um, I was alone for a very long time with my dad or whatever but it has produced I would like to call a man that is able to find his grounding in his art in everything that I do. I feel grounded when I draw just because I do not just feel centered in myself, but I feel centered in God. Every time I put back myself in that situation, I think, yes, I don't have a mother or all these bad things happening in my life. But these marks have been truly, 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 truly a blessing to me in opening me being in solitude or 
me being insecure i actually sat down and started drawing because i was in my house most of the time i didn't really like to interact the moment that i interact people used to like yeah make fun of me or subliminal messages or get very uncomfortable but being me able to grow up and look beyond that and take it as a source of inspiration so i look myself in the mirror not a lot of times but i do look every time i look in the mirror it's a special day it's a, not a special day but it's a special moment because i inspire myself every single time i am glad that my art is different i am different and every indifference there is um, a certain level of perfection that there is i hope i didn't mumble in all this but i thank god for centering me and that's how i see life for me in an artistic way it's not really scarring something but giving attention to something that actually matters on something so for i uh, for me when i before i scar someone is i ask them what they like and usually when they tell me i actually have a weird i i like octopus then i'm just they're like okay octopus is really weird but that's the beautiful part of you because you are ashamed to tell someone or you are ashamed to tell someone but when you listen to them talk about octopus you see how they glow or how they become them at the end of the day so that's how i am as well like when someone asks me what happened to you and i'm just there like yeah i used to lie when i was young but lying made me fake and my art i wanted it to be as well authentic so it's just me lying to myself drawing things let's say that i usually drawn by other people and trying to draw them in a normal manner for me was not suiting because i don't think i was born to um be um like ordinary see myself in people but in the sense that um they also have to start seeing the beauty that lies within their scars that they try to hide or um or they're trying to not put out there in the world where in this world everybody's trying to cover up the scars where i'm very very encouraging those scars because my art is a big part of it and i am um like that so yeah that's me i guess i, I respond to life is how i also paint my paintings so just to show you my last piece that i did which is this which is out of raw emotion it was emotion of trying to love or through those scars that you see on that gray guy or what i would want to call him the statue um who's giving love through his own scars but through those scars they is you can see those green beams if you put it if you see my art on instagram if you see my art on instagram i did it in negative as well so it looks pretty cool that you can see glow and all this but i do that just and i feel good and grounded so that's my art and that is kept to grow the circle or i would like to call him tuckwood's gone kissing so thank you